Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement having. In order to do that, we have to know what is and isn't our natural opportunities, what is and isn't our personal skill sets, what is and isn't our professional talents, and how can we take and parlay all those things into the best life cycle we can. The life cycle that we have is sort of cyclical. In other words, we kind of go in circles. We often learn a lesson and then we learn the lesson again a little later. We forget that we learned it, we continue with our sin, and then we realize we're in, in it again and again. The liar doesn't make growth change. A change requires a real, true commitment to reading, listening, hearing the life forces around you. The life forces around you are not trying to play with you, they're trying to interact with you. But liars of America like to play with people. They like to ruin people, they like to destroy people, they like to steal from people, and they never stop playing to think about what they look like to God. Maybe they look like to a, a jester to the Lord. They're always doing something that is stupid, immoral, ineffective. But the people who are trying to put themselves together make a plan. My father used to say, you make a plan and you work a plan. He was big a proponent of budgets, which I hate to do because my budget was so simple I could do the whole thing in my, mathematically in my head, which says a lot for a guy who's mathematically challenged. But hopefully I'm vertically challenged too, which means I fit pretty well on puddle jumper planes, better than you. But the liars of America didn't think about what people's rights are when they decided to make things that harm people's minds, that interact with our souls and destroy the love of the Lord today. We don't have the right to do that in any way, and in moral America doesn't understand life, liberty, and love. And the important part of that last piece is legacy. What will your legacy be? How will you utilize your life force and your ministry of your life, your mission in life, your man-to-man -man mission of helping people, of serving people, of making a life to earn yourself the life you deserve, the life, the wife partner you want, and openly the children you're willing to parent into adulthood. Because when you make that parental choice, you have to decide how to be the most loving and kind, nurturing, educational, and instructional. And when you don't do that, you often lose your life to them instead of building them up and raising them up into the army of men. Men have an army, and our army is often being attacked by women for not being man enough, for not being good enough, for not being wise enough, for not being sound enough, for being too sexually active, for being too much of a man. And the reality is that a good man, an honorable man, a gentleman is very selective. And all he wants in his life is the best of the best people and the best woman he can find. 